Crystal Eyes is a 2017 Buenos Aires set giallo movie all about the uh, fashion and catwalk queens and models and the bitchiness that goes on within those uh, kind of circles and I really like this so we open up to uh, a scene of Alexis Carpenter who is the most toxic and destructive piece of, of model we've ever seen. She is just horrid to everybody across the board dismissive and disruptive to the whole workplace obviously off her head in drugs and just a nasty piece of work and when she goes to do the end of show uh, piece she goes off script does things she shouldn't do and ends up encasing herself engulfing herself in flames dying horribly now of course Alexis has her fans and we jump a year later to where they're about to almost do the, the next yearly uh, anniversary of that show when some of the models start to disappear in bloody horrible ways throughout the movie. It's a giallo in, in most ways but there's certain aspects of the movie that I both love and kind of hate as well. Very early on you get a sight of the killer and it is a unusual, strange and rather unique tact for a colour to look. It's very stylized, uh, and very strange and leads the story down an almost supernatural path. I love the fact that it's obviously made in a, a kind of minimal budget. We don't have a great deal of cast. We either have survivors or uh, victims throughout this or possible suspects as well as to who could be the killer. Because it definitely leads down the path of um, a masked figure killing people to start with. Then you start to get this sequence early on in the middle of the movie where there is kill after kill after kill. And the problem with this is it's very repetitive. It doesn't offer much uh, in the form of style. It's just kind of stock and slash sequences that we kind of know roughly the beats and what's going to happen. But the rest of the movie does have style and in abundance. I love the way they use the neon lights. I love the way they use certain production standards to create this wonderful look. I love the cross cutting and the editing in this one. The way they layer up the shots really adds a lot to the, the, the movie, creating a, an atmosphere and a sense of dread and tension. The movie starts strong. I feel that the movie ends somewhat strong. Um, the middle bit gets a little bit bogged down. And there's obviously a Gialli influence all the way through this, as there's multiple nods to various movies throughout the film. I won't go through any of them, but they're quite apparent and, and on the surface. Well, you know, one obvious one is a bird with a crystal plumage that ends up... See, I'm not going to spoil it. You'll, you'll discover it when you check out the movie. I kind of liked crystallised. I liked the look of it, the atmosphere it created. I felt the story was a little bit lacking and I felt there was a little bit overuse of seeing the killer. Yes, it's an interesting look and it's very different, but seeing it so often made it just a little bit familiar. Although it was weird and wacky and kind of quirky and strange, I, I wish we could have seen less of it and maybe had more uh, ma black gloved masked killing so you're trying to guess who the killer could possibly be rather than the reason that we get at the end of the movie. I'm trying to skirt around things a little bit as to not give it away but if you're a Gialli fan at all I think you'll find a lot of enjoyment to have in Crystal Eyes. I'd love to know your thoughts on the movie, let me know in the comment box below and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.